Okay, this is Big Al's first time out alone. He's doing fine. He's just looking around, uh, but nothing bad. And I know he hasn't been work, so who knows how the heck long he hasn't been out by himself. Okay, but otherwise very good. There's the long horn goat. He already went by the other goats and stuff. There's horses over there, which he hasn't screamed to or anything. Then there's a sprinkler, and then we got dogs and stuff coming up. I'm going to turn this on and off because my battery always dies. Here, Crow, with this jacket glowing. Right? You want to look at it? But um, he's being very calm. He's not scared. He's just checking it out. Good job. Let's see about the other birdie things. People don't realize how hard it is to find horses like this. Good temperaments are hard to find because people don't breed for it anymore. They just breed for color. Right? So that's good. The dogs are barking. Stuff's blowing. Good job. And then, of course, um, we got the roosters here. So he's level-headed and smooth. So the first time by all this stuff is always the hardest. So if I know if I can get them by and they're not uh, totally freaked out, it's a good one. And they're going to be great. Okay. Oh, we got a, some cows over there, but they're not making noise or anything. But he saw them. He's just fine. You see he's looking out of his right eye towards them. Oh, I was saying it's hard to find horses with a good temperament and then actually, uh, you know, that somebody put trail miles on. You can tell this guy's been on the trail and seen stuff. Somebody did a good, pretty good job. Alright, put this back on. So here's the dog obstacle course. And again, he's kind of looking at it, but that's about it. So we got the garbage cans, he doesn't care. Flags on the fence, all good. Very nice gate. Flags blowing up here. Looked a little bit. In the beginning, I kind of have short range, but they're loose, so I can see if the horse is going to be spooky or goofy. It's fine if he, they look at stuff in the beginning. Okay, so far he's past every task. Big tent thing over there. And then this construction site. I was riding with one hand for a minute. Uh, horses like this aren't, aren't cheap. Right? A skunk. Okay, so skunk comes out. I hope he does spook and run away and get us out of the stink. <laughs> My saw Taylor was freaking out at that. This horse just goes by and doesn't care. This is the kind of stuff you can't see when you're buying horses online. Is you know really what they're. Uh, temperament is. That's why if you can go ride them, it's best to go do that to see if it's something you can handle. And this guy actually, if I relax, will slow down see how he's walking slower. But a lot of the horses just are so go or people have run them by stuff that they don't know how to walk. So, you know, this is a nice easy horse. We're going to come up on the barking dogs. Same thing. He's on a loose rein. Here they come.
Good job, buddy. Good job. So, again, this is a test ride, so I'm kind of just letting things happen and see how they go. They got a little fast, that's all right, but I had a totally loose rein. Good job, guys. I'll be back in a little bit. Good job. Good boy. See if he runs down the fence line or not. The dog, not the horse. It's a creepy haunted house place. Good job. That was good. Sometimes they look at these big rocks in the beginning when they're not California horses. There's a deer under the tree down there. See how well they blend in? That's why horses spook a deer because it looks like a tree and then the tree moves. I mean, wouldn't that scare you? Once they see it's a deer, it's fine. I mean, he didn't spook, but a lot of horses would. Oh, no, we're good. Oh. Hi. Oh, thank you. Do you guys want to have me the road? No, we're like farther down off of Green Valley Road at Equine Unlimited. Oh. I haven't seen the other people. Oh. Yeah, but I've seen their arena. Somebody's on patient. Thank you so much. Patient, but that's okay. We'll work on that. Okay, so now we're heading back home. So it was in the bush. Nothing. Uh, staying the same speed, so that's good. Okay. Good job. Oh, there's a car. Good job. Oh, thank you. Good job, buddy. All right. Good job, Pugsley. <laughs> He's going faster. He's a couple different speeds. <laughs> Very smooth. Seeing if he goes out of gate at all. Mm -hmm. He's like, I don't go out of gate, lady. Mm -hmm. Right? Good job. Now I'm going to slow him down. Yep. Nice. Right? Nice horse. Easy gait. Easy brain. Awesome temperament. Okay, so far, the flag over there blowing. We're blowing. I guess they're blowing behind us. But he's fine with that. Roosters and chickens and stuff. He's looking. And he's just walking out. He stays pretty much this speed the whole time. Which was an, a nice walk. Not so sure I want to slow it down, right?
but he stayed the same speed going out as he did coming back. It's all good so far. Turkey's on the left. He doesn't care. We'll see if this dog comes out or not. He's pretty good on the gravel. He's got shoes in front and uh, none in the back. Uh, the dog's not here. Got the goats, the longhorn goats, and a bunch of turkeys in here. And this is usually where the bunny rabbits jump out too, but I'm so far. I think he saw some the other day though. And I'm just on a loose rein. Lots of people are like, good horses are easy to find. They're not, or I would have them all. And you see how many I fix, right? So finding a good horse with a good gait and a good temperament is, is not easy. It takes a lot of time going through a lot of crappy horses or going through a lot of horses that are not so great and sending them back. And, uh, and then when you get the good ones, you know, they're expensive to buy. And then I still got to train them. That's what people don't always get when they're expensive. I'm like, well, I pay a lot, and even though it's good, it's not totally finished. Right, Big Al? So, doing some yard work over here. <laughs> He's dragging a big water tub. This is, where is he? Big Al walking behind me. He's very respectful. He's doing a good job. And uh, he's very good on the trail, right? He's like, I'm awesome. So whoever gets this one's gonna be lucky and very happy. There he is, Big Al. He's just a cutie pie. Aren't you? Very sweet eye. 